Hey everyone, Shin Virtuality here, and today we are going to check out this quick play <laughs> of Genshin Impact. This game came around uh, late last year, I think October, November. Um, it's out for multiple platforms, um, mobile, which I'm playing here, PC, I believe PS4 and Switch, maybe? Um, so, yeah, um, pretty big game, and, uh, yeah, beautiful, beautiful game. So, we're gonna take a, a quick look, or a quick play, or we're gonna go through some stuff quickly, uh, and see what happens. <clears throat> uh, right off the bat, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm playing this game, hopefully I don't, uh, cover up my mic, because... One of the things that I am sort of bummed with this game is the fact that it doesn't have controller support, uh, but, you know, what can you do? Um, this is a very large game as well. Um, I think when I loaded it onto uh, another device, it was pulling around 9 gigs of data, so be prepared if, uh, if you're getting this game. Um, but, pretty good. Um, it is a action RPG, much like uh, what you would see, I guess, for Zelda Breath in the Wild. That's what I'm figuring it to be. I've never actually played Breath of the Wild, but I've heard it comment various times. Uh, it also has cooperative play, so you can get your friends and, and take on bosses or quests together. And the story or, uh, that you start off with, um, you are a couple of travelers, brother and sister, who fight sort of some deity, and one of you gets captured, and you get to choose which one you play as, whether it's the male or the female sibling. So, interesting story there, um, because whoever you pick the uh, antagonist that you'll be facing will be your sibling. So there's sort of like a, a good versus evil, yin and yang sort of aspect there. And along your travels you'll um, meet various people. I think the first one you come across is Amber, this fire uh, bow wielding character. Um, but because it's a free-to-play game, you'll have plenty of chances to uh, unlock other various characters using um, in-game currency, real money if you need to buy said in-game currency, um, or just, you know, finish off uh, some quests and whatnot. So um, don't use my video as any sort of, this is how to sort of get best characters or whatever. I've been playing um, several hours into this and trust me, I'm no no closer to beating this game than maybe a lot of people. So regardless of whether you're beginning, intermediate, or still playing this, don't. Uh, I'm not making this video to say, here's what I'm doing. I'm just sort of using it as an introduction because the game is well worth talking about on the mobile platform. Um, you can traverse the world, you got a day-night cycle, and as long as you're not going into any buildings or, um, buildings or say, uh, what are the dungeons, I guess? Uh, the game, you know, you... Uh, migrate trend, uh, seamlessly from one region to the next, so no real, like, loading gates as long as you're just sort of exploring the world. Uh, plenty of collectibles to be had, and much like this spirit, you just sort of follow it along and it will lead you to some treasure, so we'll do that since we've come across it. Uh, okay. 
you can climb anything, you got stamina. So as long as you have a lot of stamina in your character. I want the mushroom. You can pick up all sorts of stuff as well. Uh, yes, here you are. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. Ah, there it is. I see. I see where he's going. You got like a little dash attack that turns into running. These spirits will just sort of sit in there, and yeah, you get a chest. Open it up, and you get lots of goodies. Lightning. What's that up there? All sorts of stuff that you can get in the world. You can get stuff for cooking. <laughs> Wasn't expecting the rain to come, but hey, what can you do? Uh, and then that in the distance is a statue of one of the seven and you can collect there's other items in the landscape that you can use to sort of power them up um, doing so will get you sort of abilities like increased stamina other rewards uh, so let's just go to it quickly so you get a statue of the seven uh, and if you worship the statue, I don't have any here. I just passed level nine, but getting to the next one, increased stamina, adventure XP, uh, primal gems, which is like the um, uh, the premium in-game currency, uh, and some sigils. Uh, so it's well worth it to sort of power these things up. No, don't climb it. Uh, and you can also that's a uh, sort of boning this up. And go to the back to the statue. Uh, it will also um, heal your characters if you need any. And I got a few that uh, that I've collected over the past couple of months now, uh, using their their gotcha mechanic. You have a glider as well, so you can, if you're up high and just need to traverse the land quickly, you can pull that out and it'll just sort of glide you down. Another sweet flower. I still haven't really found much enemies. But here's some Danny lines that we could blow the stuff off of. And get some seeds. Uh, and yeah, along with the 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 big cast of characters, uh, there's about I don't know twenty or so. Oh, I got some enemies down there. Um, twenty or so other characters that you'll uh, find in your travels and may roll with to. Uh, once you roll their the gotcha system to uh, get them added to your party, uh, you also have this character at your side, which is pretty much the anime sidekick character for for better or for worse. Um, <laughs> she is very much an annoying sidekick. So I wonder who makes the better mascot, Paimon or Klee? Oh wait, I forgot. Paimon's not a mascot. Paimon is emergency. Hey! Paimon knows exactly what you're going to say. That joke stopped being funny a long time ago. What Paimon needs right now is a traveler who can whip up some delicious sticky honey roast. So, who's gonna be the lucky traveler? Hmm? Alright, ready? Rock, paper, Super Paimon Tornado! What? So yeah, Paimon is very much the the typical sidekick character that you'll be sort of roped in with for the majority of this game. 
Uh, although, funny thing, if uh, the joke is all on the players and Paimon turns out to be sort of the uber waifu that, uh, that you get at the end of the game once you complete everything. Hmm. What the? Oh, geez. Well, that was a dark corner I just turned. Anyway, moving on. Anyway, the world is also littered with these sort of goblin-y characters called hill of churls. Uh, they'll be sort of the main enemy that you face early on and more or less throughout, along with slime. So we got one down here. Let's just quickly dispatch it. And there are various things. So if you have a group of enemies and defeat all of them, you could get a chest as a reward. Ooh, more lightning. Um, there are sort of hidden treasures throughout, uh, temples to go through and get sort of rewards either for leveling up your character or um, leveling up your uh, weapons because yes you can level up both of those. Uh, and then each character has sort of like uh, two abilities. Uh, one quick one that uh, quickly recharges over time and another bigger one, which I'll just use right here as an example. Um, uh, and each character is different, so best to sort of check out each one in turn. But uh, yeah, those ones will sort of recharge, but you have to sort of, they take a little bit of time to sort of get them uh, before they're ready to, uh, to go. Also, I wasn't expecting this much rain. I was hoping that the, the day would be good. Uh, let's try... Oh. <laughs> out another character here. You can quickly switch out between them uh, and if you have several of different um, uh, elements I guess you could say uh, you can sort of stack them if you switch through them quickly. Let's say using this Razor character. And they'll drop stuff that you can collect to also sort of use as uh, items for, oh my treasure, um, the items they'll drop that you can use for crafting uh, when leveling up, again, weapons or your characters or whatever. And I just, uh, you're allowed to uh, pass time, and I wanted to get out of the rainy bits, uh, because, again, the first city that you come across, Mondstadt, is this majestic, um, you know, medieval-type looking town uh, that you come across and uh, assist in your adventures. Uh, and I wanted to sort of point that out in this video and just sort of say... You know, that's one of the reasons why I like this game so much. It's, uh, I spent, uh, countless hours just sort of going through quests, just roaming the lands, leveling up characters, leveling up, uh, weapons, all sorts of fun stuff. And it never has really sort of gotten old yet. Um, even now, like, I mean, I sort of were, was playing Minecraft a little bit more than this, uh, when we were getting into the end of 2020. Um, 
but I've come back and started playing it a little bit more because uh, even myself I'm just sort of researching what I can do in terms of making my characters a little bit stronger so I can get to some of the other later bits of the game. So plenty of content to be had. Uh, and for a mobile game, it's uh, it's it's quite nice and refreshing. Uh, this is definitely one that you're going to have to sort of sit down and spend some time with. In like all these sort of areas, I'm, I'm pretty sure like that mountain in the distance that uh, can be sort of scaled. I think that's one of the later levels. Uh, and we have Lynn in, in cooking, so you can do a bunch of cooking stuff if need be. Uh, what else we, what we got here? Let's make a satisfying salad, uh, shall we? Uh, you can check which characters, if you have any, that will give you any sort of bonuses. Not really any for this, unfortunately. Um, actually, I'm not going to do... We'll do something else. Just because I'm already proficient in it. Okay, so either Noel or Zinyan can provide a bonus if we cook uh, this well. And since I have, a cook, have not cooked it before, uh, we can cook it, well, we'll have to cook it manually, but the goal is to sort of get a perfect cook on this. And it's just that easy and perfect <laughs> with with the uh, character that we cooked with, we got an extra dish out of it. So, yay. I'm the survival expert of the Adventurer's Guild. Nice to meet you. Along with the stunning visuals, there is a ton of uh, in-game voice here as well. So, um, it really sort of adds... Uh, to the depth and value of uh, roaming the land and doing what you want to do here, so uh, awesome stuff. Uh, and you also have enough room for a couple of different parties if you want to mix and match different characters, so we'll just pick this one. And then you're free to sort of do uh, anything else that you want here with uh, said characters. So, um, like I said, I've been sort of doing some advanced um, grinding, I guess. And I got uh, one of my characters ready to ascend again. So, let's do that just to give you guys a show, or uh, just to show you guys. I created another universe and founded Paradise, for I... Official and the princess and different earth. <laughs> okay then. All right, and so we have the character level to its max level, and of course, with the star system, you can ascend to get your next level star. So let's do that. We have the materials available, and this is the one I'm sort of concentrating on, just to see if I can get. Uh, uh, a dire, a higher damage output out of her so I can sort of get through some of the sort of more intermediate stages of the game. Uh, it's I getting created to that another point. universe yes, yes, and yes, founded yes, paradise for I, Fischl, and the princess and for Earth. So, different star, another 10 levels that we can do. I don't really have the materials to do that, uh, but you can use, like, say, these books, for example, for you know, uh, leveling up either a lot, a little bit, or a tiny bit. Uh, you also have your weapon, which can also be um, powered up to max level. Uh, I don't... Mm. 
if you have duplicates of said weapon, you can refine it so that the um, sort of bonuses that come with it uh, uh, get a little bit higher. And we don't have the materials to ascend this to the next level, which is fine. We won't worry about it right now, but that's sort of, you get the idea. So you can do that. You have the artifacts. So these are five items that you can equip onto a character to boost their stats even further. And of course you can level these up um, to various pluses. So say for example, plus three. And if I use more, more items. Like so, and I'll enhance them even further. Uh, if you re-roll the same character in its in the game's gotcha system, then any duplicates can be used to sort of fill out the constellation. So since I've only gotten this character once, I don't have any of the constellation bonuses unlocked yet, but you know, that's something that you progressed throughout. Uh, but here's something that I think I can do now that I've ascended to a second. I can level up some more talents. So let's see if we can do that. Yes, we can. So. Again, they'll boost up nicely. And as long as we can do that, let's see how far we can get here. Now that we've got this character up a little bit, let's investigate the map because every day you have what is, um, Herschel's are building towers, destroy them quickly. Well, I think we can manage that. So let's navigate to it and take our new, let's take our newly ascended official and see if we can make sure that they don't become a nuisance for any of the travelers nearby. Increasing danger. Oh, there's some evil looking towers. Let's do something about that. Uh, Hi guys. tower. More enemy reinforcements. But all we needed was to complete the tower. Yeah. 
character or what I want to do. Once the fire does destroy the shield. and just make short work of him. <laughs> and a heavy horn for our troubles. Thanks, guys. Another thing here. Yeah, always best to sort of clear out the enemies and collect their goodies once they're gone. Uh, so let's see if we can find another... And around the landscapes you have the sort of quick teleport points, so it's good to sort of collect them because, again, yes, it's another collectible, um, but once you reveal them, you can transport to them pretty quickly around the map if you need to. Uh, another small town here as I'm passing through to get to the next... Um, the next daily commission. Hill of Churls. You want to have this. Oh, another shield guy. No rest for the wicked. Midnight Phantasmagoria. Oh. Oh. That is cool. Panicking! I'm here to save you! <laughs> hey look, Miranda got into trouble! <laughs> okay, we won't tell. And then as you complete commissions, you can get more Primo Gems and Let's show that off quickly for a moment. I do. So in the shop category, you want to go to Pyman's Bargains, and with Primo Gems, you can uh, use them to buy either Intertwined Fate or Ancient Fates. And the reason you would want to do either of those is because you can use them for wishes that will give you other characters or weapons uh, of a three, four, or five star ability. Uh, so you have sort of three different things you can wish upon if they're sort of events, they're sort of time limited. Uh, but these are the ones that I have sort of right now. So... What I like to do is I like to do wishes of 10 because at least every 10 wishes will come with a guaranteed 4 star. Uh, and because I have some Primo Gems, let's just... We'll get 10 intertwined fates, and we'll roll for ten wishes. Cross our fingers.
Okay, so I have another Zinyan. All right, cool. Okay, so I got two Zinyans, which means now when I go into her... Let's get out of here. So now when I select her character sheet, you'll see that the constellation is now highlighted. I can do this one. And I can do the next one. And each time you keep getting duplicates, they'll just add another uh, star to the constellation. So once character is fully uh, filled out this way, um, they should be pretty beefy. Uh, so I may have to spend some time leveling her up next. Hey guys, so some time has passed. Um, I've been sort of playing this game um, pretty much a lot this week. Uh, leveling up some characters, trying to sort of make them and their weapons, and uh, you know, loading up their skills. Um, and has been taking apart, taking apart in some um, world event quests and stuff. So. And Onwards. I even we have um, work to do. <laughs> yes, Jean, I know. Um, uh, we also ascended the world, which is another thing you can do in this game. Uh, as your characters level up and become too beefy for monsters, you can sort of uh, ascend the world, and then the world goes up another rank, and then the enemies get stronger, and you get better loot from them. So, yeah, did that too. Um, but there is definitely a lot of stuff going on with this game, so in order to wrap this uh, quick play up, we're going to go visit one of the game's boss arenas, and we'll take it on. And I figure we'll go visit this fire flower and see what they have to say about my team of adventurers. quite the fire flower we wanted to face at this point, but I'm sure it'll come soon enough. Oh, he's down. Yep, there he is. He just fought one of your childs. What do you think of that, you stupid plant? And you'll get some various bosses, um, most of which have like an element attached to them, so always nice. Um, not that I wanted to face fire with fire, but I figure having the uh, Let me weave you a verse. fire shield would benefit, at least in this boss. And of course, she's the character that I want to get the uh, loot for.
mind your fate. It's time to act. Bosses are pretty big and uh, impressive in this game, so going up against one of them, even one like this, but you go up against the dragon for the end of the, of the first chapter, um, always is something to be heard. Achievements. Rain outlines your fate. Say, well, I don't think it'll be much of a match for it Looks like it's the end. And after each boss, if you have enough of the original resin, which is used to collect the um, treasures that they drop, uh, then you touch the blossom that they leave. Yes, we can use original resin and we'll obtain some treasures, including some materials that we'll need for leveling up. So not too bad in the long run. I created another universe and founded paradise for I, Fischl, and the princess and for Earth. All right, let's head back to Mondstadt for a quick outro. All right, now that the weather's cooperating. <laughs> so this has been a quick play of Genshin Impact. Um, quite the massive... Um, RPG it's got here. I want to call it an MMO, but there is some Welcome to cooperative Monstat. aspects Monstat to it, Wilk. but uh, you can sort of go at it at your own pace, either with friends or on your own, and it definitely has a lot to offer. Uh, I have been playing for like countless hours already, and I, I feel like I've hardly scratched the surface, but I am starting to get a little bit more into it. Uh, where characters are starting to get a little bit more powerful, where the world is starting to provide more challenges and provide more I rewards when um, when completing them. And uh, you know what? Eager to see what uh, the game has to offer down the road. Um, it almost seems like of the statues of the seven, only two are sort of in the game now, which means there's five left to be explored um someone comment if uh, i'm totally mistaken there but uh yeah based on the way the world is now um like i said there's that mountain <laughs> so yeah it is explorable once you've unlocked that sort of region uh but it seems like there'd be more regions to uh, to unlock in the future and i don't know if they're available now or not um, but even so, uh, with all the main quests, side quests, random events, um, timed world events, like stuff that they sort of give you uh, a month at a time, and like anything out in the world, uh, collectibles, treasure chests, uh, and even just sort of, sort of like walk up to this NPC and he'll just have another quest for you. Um, 
<laughs> all sorts of stuff to keep you busy. Uh, and with the leveling of characters and their abilities, um, lots of stuff to sort of keep track of and sort of strive for in the future when going for them. Um, but if you enjoyed the game, um, give it a download. It is free to play. Um, and uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Um, I don't think I'll be doing any sort of playthrough for this, but if I come back to it with a sort of update based on uh, stuff that I've unlocked, um, maybe we'll make another video of it just to sort of go through some more of the higher tiered stuff. Uh, but for now, uh, if you enjoyed this video and others like it, um, hit me up with a like, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel for more mobile gaming goodness, and ring that bell whenever my videos drop, because you never know what I'll be playing next. This has been Shin Virtuality. Game on, have fun, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Today's recommendation.